Hi, this is Sarah with the Lux Pets, and I'm sharing our Digital Nomad Families pack list with you. So this pack list is for myself and my two and a half year old, and we have a separate video for my husband's pack list. But everything that I'm going to show you fit into two bags one backpack sized carry on. It's a little bigger than a backpack, but it's a carry on, and I can put it on my back, and then one smaller in flight bag. So I'll show you both, um, starting with the gear. This uh, pack list is going to last us at least six months. We'll change some things in and out. Um, but so far, we're living really comfortably out of it. Okay, there we go. So this is all of our gear for my son and myself. And I'll start with our in-flight bag. We worked out a pretty good system so that 14 hour flights aren't too stressful for us anymore, even though he's only two and a half. Um, and this is what we put in our bag to keep it that way. So first the bag itself. It's a Yuhan, I think, I think it's just called the Yuhan diaper gear bag, but I'll have a link to it in our blog post. Um, so, Let's see roughly how big it is. It's not too big. It's like a small backpack. It's made out of durable nylon. Why does this keep doing that? I'll just put it over here. Um, just the thing that I like about this bag is that it's got a ton of pockets and compartments so you can organize the crap out of everything. Um, and this is what we organize into it. Usually in one of the front, one, front pouches we put um, snacks. Um, and then in the other front pouch, we put pacifiers, um, a pen, just things that we need to access. Here's another deep pocket, a bottle pocket on each side and an insulated one on the inside. Um, there's a laptop sleeve inside. Um, we're we're going to want right here. It doesn't provide a lot of padding on the back though, so we're going to get our own laptop sleeve to make sure my laptop's protected. Um, then it has a mesh zip bag for an extra change of clothing, and then the inner compartment is lined with a lot of pockets. Um, so this is what we actually put into it to keep our toddler happy during the flight. Um, we, uh, we usually have two bottles. He's still on the bottle. Um, yours might not be, so that's even easier, but we put one bottle in here and one in the insulated pocket inside, um, and that's lasted us fine. We also bring a bottle brush with us, which for long flights is pretty necessary. The bottle gets really sticky. Um, and then we have his pacifiers and a change of clothing, so there's that. Um, we also bring this square of rubberized fabric because he's potty training. And so we just kind of slip this under him whenever he's sleeping somewhere, especially if he's really tired and he might forget to wake up. Uh, this has come in handy a couple of times. And every time I don't put it under him it seems to be when I have an accident. Um, there's some kind of law about that. Um, but to actually keep him occupied, this is, this is what we do. We have, uh, we have a ton of sticker books that we switch in and out. So every trip he's getting some brand new sticker books to just peel on and off and put on the plane and peel it off the plane again or rip them up and tear them into little pieces. Um, and he loves doing that. So we always have a bunch of stickers. Um, we have this Japanese sticker book that his auntie Haruka gave him, um, which has really nice thicker stickers like this that can be reused even, so those are great. Um, other than stickers, he likes to draw. Toddlers are different, but we have some washable crayons. Obviously, they have to be washable, and then he loves these cheap um, little toys. So these are mostly just distractions that we can switch. You can use any small toy as, as long as it's new to them as a distraction. So that's nothing new or groundbreaking. Um, what is nice is that um, along with that we have an iPad Air um, and this on its own stores apps. 
if you want, um, and 16, it stores about, I think it's 16 gig. So for us, that's about 10 movies and one or two apps. Um, so that's fine. Uh, our son has a huge repertoire of movies and requests random ones. Um, and sometimes we want to watch our own movies. So we also bring the Hutu um, traveler with us. And what this does is it has, it fits a little 60 gig um, thumb drive. So we put whatever we want, whether it's movies. And then this, um, you can stream from any nearby device, whatever is on that 60 gig card. Uh, so we love the Hutu for that reason. It's also a Wi-Fi extender. So if you're in an Airbnb that only has cable internet, you can plug this, the cable into this. Which side is it? That side, and it will turn that cable internet into basically Wi-Fi. It's also a power bank, so we use it to recharge our devices. Um, so it's just pretty awesome. And we can access simultaneously if I have documents on there that I want to work from on my laptop. Um, I can access those at the same time that I'm streaming a movie to Spencer. So that's great. Um, then in this bag, I can also fit my phone, um, a charger, USB. I'd rather get one with four USB ports. The, sometimes there are very few outlets and all of my devices have USB. Um, then we also have our travel documents. Um, this is eight and a half by five and a half binder is really nice because it's not too big. Um, so we usually put our itinerary in there, a copy of our birth certificate, our marriage certificate, uh, Spencer's birth certificate. We started doing that in South Africa when we were asked for, we were actually asked for our son's birth certificate a few times to make sure that we weren't kidnapping him. Um, so we probably bring more than we need to, but um, it's peace of mind also. So that fits in our carry-on bag. Then my laptop, which is just, you know, 13 inch um, MacBook. And then what else goes in this carry-on? The bottle brush, you can bring any cheap bottle brush. So that's our in-flight bag. The only other thing, our neck pillow. Here it is, it's memory foam. It stores, it folds up really small, hangs off of our um, diaper bag. I think the brand is Dipo, but again, I've listed a link to it. It has a high profile, um, which, is worth it to me. I can't really fall asleep on those flat donut ones. Passport. Instead of keeping our passports in a bag that I have to bend down to get over, I just um, keep them in this neck wallet, which has a bunch of pockets, um, RFID blocker, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five pockets it has. If it's three, our three passports, a few credit cards, plenty of cash, it's perfect, I just um, put it over my shoulder and under my coat and I can get to anything, anywhere, so that's great. Okay. For our clothing, I'll start with Spencer's bag. Spencer's one and only bag is this giraffe, um, which I originally bought because it has the harness option, and then I tried using it once and felt ridiculous, and I think Spencer fell on his butt when I jerked it, so I don't use that anymore. Um, but what he does when he does wear it, which is kind of often, he puts his sacred objects into it, which are uh, Bussy, <laughs> Bussy, Je <laughs> Jesse and Buzz, um, two of his favorite characters. They go with him everywhere. They maintain his sense of stability, continuity, security. Um, and he doesn't actually mind not having a ton of other toys. He, we give him cheap new toys once in a while and he um, is excited at getting new stuff. So other than these guys, people who are actually like friends to him, um, we don't have a lot of toys and that's just fine. 
Okay, so all of my clothes and Spencer's clothes fit into three packing cubes, which fit with more than enough room into our backpack. I use the <coughs> Florius packing cubes. I just like, uh, I like their structure. I like that they're heavy duty, they're durable. Uh, they have the mesh window that's always good. Um, they're eco-friendly. They're, I think they, they say that they're the only eco-friendly uh, bag out there. So I like them. Um, I'm able to fit plenty of clothing. Let's see, I have one, two, three, four. I'm wearing another dress, four dresses. I actually fit two more dresses um, in there, but they're dirty right now. Um, then one pair of harem pants, one merino wool t-shirt, which is awesome. I can't recommend merino wool enough. It's breathable. You don't have to wash it. Uh, just a pair of running tights and a tank top. Um, and that's all my clothing. I think I, ha I wear a pair of jeans and a sweater on the plane because sometimes you just want to wear jeans. And I have room for that too as long as I'm wearing it while I'm traveling. So this is about one, two, three, four, five, six, at least six or seven outfits. Um, I picked up a really cheap t-shirt while I was here. Something less than $5 clothing is always a lot of times cheaper where you're traveling than at home. So there's that packing cube. In the um, medium packing cube, I fit Spencer in my swimsuit, socks, which I really don't need. Um, I had a couple of pairs of socks for him, but it's so hot here that he only wears it when he's traveling, so he only really needs one pair. Sports bra, some underwear, and I have too many socks. I have two pairs of socks, or maybe three, um, but I only wear them when I go running, So, and it's been too hot for me to go running here. So I don't use those uh, very often, but that's the medium packing cube. Um, or the small, actually. I can also fit two microfiber towels inside. Those are great for the beach, I think, but we haven't used them much here. So if I just, I'm still not using them when we're going to the beach regularly, I'm gonna get rid of them. But sometimes they're nice to roll swimsuits in, but you could use a plastic bag for that just as easily. Um, Spencer's clothing. We have something like one, two, three, four, and he's wearing one, so five t-shirts, five pairs of shorts, um, three or four pairs of underwear. Uh, he doesn't always like wearing underwear, so he doesn't go through them that quickly, but he still wears them in the medium, medium packing cube, and that fits fine. Um, then I'm also able to fit my knee strap because I have runner's knee and this really helps, or jumper's knee. I'm not a jumper, but my knee hurts and this strap helps. Um, and then we can fit Spencer's sun, sun hat. This is really, really easy to tighten and loosen. I could show you if I had two hands, um, but he won't wear it. <laughs> So, he won't wear any hats, though, and I read that a lot of people actually get their kids to wear that hat, so I'm still kind of holding out hope. Um, then I brought four pairs of shoes. It's more than I need. I'm definitely going to get rid of some. Um, these are the ones I wear all the time, just because they're both comfortable and cute. I've never gotten a blister. I walk around in, here in Chiang Mai all the time, <clears throat> and I love them. Um, these ones, the super expensive Tows, which are the touted traveling brand, um, give me blisters and they're a little clunkier to wear, but they're still cute. Um, I don't know. I might keep them, but I found that my white ones tend to match almost anything I'm wearing. And then these flats uh, I wore on the plane shoes. And then my Asics running shoes, which are awesome, have great support. Okay. So that's all of our clothing. It's, it's doing us just fine. We feel comfortable. Um, then for toiletries, uh, I did, so these we didn't bring with us. These are all things that we bought here for way cheaper than we could have if we had brought them. Bug spray, this is a cyclovir, which is the medication in cold medicine, and we got this whole tube for, I think it was a dollar and you pay $20 for a smaller tube back in the States. So this was awesome. 
Then this is just hydrocortisone anti-itch cream because the mosquitoes are bad here. So we got all of these things for really cheap while we were here, didn't have to bring them. Um, more things, and we also got mouthwash. More things I could have done that with are probably this little tube of lotion, but I love eucerin, so I brought that with me. And then things that we definitely were going to use on the plane, we brought those. So I brought deodorant because I wanted to use some after our long flight. I brought my Aveeno uh, Ageless SPF moisturizer because I wanted to use that after the flight. Um, then I brought, brought floss because I know, I've noticed both in South Africa and here in Thailand that floss is expensive, it's weirdly, like three, four dollars, and I can always get it cheap back home, or you have that floss that your dentist gives you every time and you never use it all. So just bring that floss, unless you're fine with the little, um, these little flossers, because those are cheap here, so, but I like old-fashioned floss. Um, detangling brush works for me and Spencer. Small, that's great. They have palm-sized ones that I thought about getting, um, but I didn't. Um, then we also have teething gel. We probably could have got that here, um, but we have used it since we've been here, so that's helpful. A Tide stain pen, we've used this. Um, chapstick, use that every day. Um, we have a tape measure. Um, that's mostly just for our business, uh, the, t the line of business that we're in, but um, the cool thing about the tape measure is the gear tie. These are really cheap little gear ties that are highly rated on Amazon and they're useful for a bunch of things. They come in three packs. Get them. Um, for we have two perfume or cologne atomizers, so you can bring your signature scent without bringing the whole bottle. They're really easy to fill. Um, this actually goes in this pile because I bought it while I was here. Again, much cheaper. Everything else, things like band-aids, anything, you can really get it in country and it reduces your weight load so much. Um, I use Bare Minerals, so that's my makeup. Um, my brush and my mascara. That's it, and that's fine. One tampon. You don't need to bring a box. <laughs> you just need to buy yourself some time. Uh, a pair of tweezers I've had for years, so I have no idea what brand they are, but they're my best tweezers. Highest tension. Great tweezers. Um, and then these pill cases are really useful uh, for the little things. So this is how they work. We have two of them. Just fold them up like that. So, I have my earrings in them, my flat pairs of earrings, some swabs, again, mostly just for the plane, um, and a makeup thing, which I don't need. Um, then we do have some medication in here, but these are only the risk-averse medications we wanted to bring, for instance, I've had a really bad headache on the plane and not wanted to um, not had Advil with me before. So we have some headache medicine, Dramamine, anti-diarrhea, worst case scenario stuff. It's not that heavy to bring with us and it just makes me um, feel better because I've used all of it before. And then some baby aspirin for Spencer, which he's used um, because he's, his two-year molars are coming in. Or if you had a fever, it's kind of nice to just have a little bit of it on hand that buys you time until you get to a drugstore. Yeah, all of this except for the gear that I showed you at the very beginning fit into our mother load convertible bag, which goes on my back. Um, this, I like that it has a lot of ways to organize things. Um, this is a recyclable shopping bag we always bring with us and find it useful for groceries or just if you have happen to have a bunch of stuff with you in the airport and need an extra bag, it's helpful. So it has one front pocket for passports or things you need to access easily. Oops, the zipper pull came off. That's a bad thing about it, I guess, since we've only used it for one trip. Um, a lot of compartments there, pen holders I use. A lot. Another pocket here. Um, 
this it, this is just what depending on where you like to access more stuff from if you need another if you don't need it then it'll get pushed up if you use all of the inside space um, which is like this so and this zipper mesh compartment is where I put all of our shoes if I had brought a coat that's where I would have put the coat um, this has a wall that you can put up if you want more internal organization. I didn't, I just put the big packing cube, medium, small one on top. Shoes, um, shoes and toiletries were able to fit in here, I think. And um, then the other really nice thing about it is that once you zip it up, these straps go up and they're really easy to pull tight to compress the bag as much as possible. I recommend not filling it um, to the max because it gets really heavy. Um, if you just fill it so-so, then it's about 20 pounds, which is no problem on your back. Uh, I hope it was useful. We've actually found it really easy to live minimally. Uh, we would recommend everything that we're using, and you can see in our blog post actual links to where you can buy most of these things on Amazon. Um, even including this dress, which is my favorite dress and not that expensive, um, the light and uh, breezy dresses are really great for hot climates. This is a modal fabric, but uh, cotton ones are fine. Um, and we dress Spencer in 100% cotton, uh, or he gets heat rash, wicked bad. Uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. I'm sure da I'm sure I'll forget something and then David will have to edit the crap out of this. So um, from the Lux Pats, we'll catch you next time. Bye.